Welcome to the Anxiety Attic where I make self-help videos for anxiety disorders. I've made a couple of videos about blood pressure anxiety, but what if you get a high blood pressure reading at the doctor? Can you trust it? And if it is genuinely high, what does that mean? All will be explained in this video. Firstly, why shouldn't you trust a blood pressure reading by your doctor? Well, some people's blood pressure temporarily increases because they feel anxious in a clinical setting. This phenomena is called white coat syndrome. And according to the UK National Health Service website, the average increase is about 10 points for the top number and five for the bottom. But for people who are very anxious, it could be a rise of as much as 30. If you find your blood pressure is always higher at the doctors, let me know in the comments below. How much higher is it normally? It'd be interesting to see how it varies between different people. But the problem with white coat syndrome is that it can lead to being incorrectly diagnosed with high blood pressure, although most doctors should really be aware of white coat syndrome. For people with health anxiety, there is a good chance of a higher reading at the doctors. And there are two things that people with health anxiety often do that makes it worse. Some will avoid taking their blood pressure because they fear it will be high. The problem is that avoidance leads to an increased fear, and fear increases blood pressure. When they finally go to the doctor, they are already extremely anxious, and the addition of white coats and monitors, and maybe some posters about heart disease and other illnesses, can send anxiety and blood pressure soaring. Other people with health anxiety will do the opposite. They will take their blood pressure too frequently, and keep seeking reassurance that they do not have high blood pressure or heart disease. This also increases anxiety and blood pressure. By the time they get to the doctors, they will have convinced themselves that the doctor is going to give them bad news, so their anxiety levels and blood pressure is likely to be high. So, what can you do if you suffer from anxiety and need your blood pressure measured? Well, firstly, tell the doctor that you suffer from anxiety and that you are feeling particularly anxious at the moment. Also, when you're in the waiting room, instead of googling heart disease on your phone, just do a few minutes of mindfulness meditation, self-hypnosis, or just a simple breathing exercise. You can do any of these without anyone really noticing. Some people also find coping cards can help. You can learn about coping cards in the video I have linked above. Coping cards are statements that you write and carry with you to counter the common negative thoughts that make you feel anxious. You know the ones, all those what-if scenarios that you go through in your head. If you struggle to come up with statements for your coping cards, have a look at my video, Blood Pressure Anxiety Questions You Need to Ask Yourself, which again I have linked at the top of the screen. If you still feel anxious when in the doctor's office, don't be afraid to ask for a pause to calm yourself before taking the reading. Doctors see many people with anxiety, so should understand. If you really can't calm down, then the other option is to ask for a 24-hour monitor so you can monitor at home. Alternatively, the doctor may just ask you to monitor at home on your own monitor if you have one. But ask the doctor how often you should monitor it, and don't monitor it any more or less than the doctor says. Remember, avoidance or over-monitoring will just increase your anxiety. Be aware that doctors rarely diagnose high blood pressure from one reading. So if they ask you to come back, it doesn't necessarily mean that something is wrong. It might just be that your anxiety is temporarily increasing your blood pressure, so they want to see if it is always high. But what if you are diagnosed with high blood pressure? Well, it's not the end of the world. The doctor will give you medication to reduce your blood pressure, which significantly reduces the risk of heart attack or stroke. Many people live to a good age with high blood pressure. My own father is an example of this. He's 82 and has been on blood pressure medication for many years. However, it is of course better not to have high blood pressure and to need medication. And it is possible to reduce blood pressure naturally. I'm actually a good example of this. At just 37, I was diagnosed with high blood pressure. It was a real wake up call. I've been living a really unhealthy lifestyle and it showed as you can see in these rather unflattering photos. I was drinking way too much alcohol and caffeine I was overweight and not exercising. So I cut out the alcohol and caffeine, lost weight and took up a new sport. 
my blood pressure came down and now age 53 it is still fine. But exercise is really important in keeping blood pressure down and it's also good for anxiety. But I know some people with anxiety fear exercising. So for those people I've made this video here. Or if you'd like to understand exactly how anxiety increases blood pressure, then watch this video here.